بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالعفك الأعلى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين ونصلي ونسلم على سيد المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear brothers and sisters Think about this over 11 speaker So They speak a lot About everything I don't know what to say They didn't leave nothing for me <laughs> But it's, I will go the solution for the first speaker. But is how to deal with the youth? How does your parents deal with you? Because the parents they bore you to this much, keep up your deen in this environment. That means they was raising you the right way. So follow your parents how to raise your own children, I mean youth, youth in here. What is coming now, how they shave and they say it's okay. How they dress, they say it's okay. Give them a chance. You give them one stop, they take ten. But when you tell them that's is not halal in Islam from the first time he will learn that is not halal and you relax the whole life that is some simple for the youth and the best the bad thing for the youth the game the internet the facade book is not Facebook is facade book And YouTube, they told them YouTube, but he didn't want to tube. He didn't want to make tube, but they told the people YouTube, and they bring them all the all kind of nonsense for the YouTube. The kids have to learn. We yes, we celebrate the night of Rasulullah Sallallahu with the Mi'raj, but. What the hadiyah, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come, come back after all this trip. And no one, no one count how many thousand years Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did that night travel. Not one night to us, but how many thousand years faster as the shooting star. Between the sky and the earth is 500 years travel. Between the first sky and the second sky is 500 year travel. Between the others is like that, 500, 500, 500. And don't think the sky is, is like that. Every sky, the thickness of every sky, 500 travel. So 1400 up and 1400 down. And he come back to his place where his bed was still warm. Significant also the 
when he lead the prey for the, all the prophets that show us we are from the nation of the best master of all the prophets and master of all the humans. He come back with the hadiyah, not with hajj, not with Ramadan, not with zakat, not with jihad, not with not guess with salat. Muslim up to today, they don't know the salat mean is the mi'raj for us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to talk to Allah. If the Prophet وسلم, went to Sidrat al Muntaha, then after that he talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but Allah make us the salat. Whoever see me, he want to meet me, my is like saying to Rasulullah, You umma want to see me? You are umma, you want to talk to me? Just make salat. And the very closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are in sujood. But how many Muslims today keep the salat? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, أول ما يحاسب به المرء هي صلاته إن صلحت صلحت باقي أعماله وإن فسدت فسدت باقي أعماله Even if he makes salat, siyam, fast in the whole year or make zakat all his wealth or make hajj or jihad without salat, Allah will not accept nothing. So if you want to talk to Allah, make salat. If you want Allah to talk to you, read the Quran. That's two way. Keep up the Quran and keep up with salat and Allah will guide you to the rest. A second speaker, how to be example. The best example is Rasulullah for every condition we meet. How he was with the Jewish neighbor, how he was with the ignorant man who come in to pee, what he told him, he said, don't disturb him. How he deal with the children, how he deal with the wives. If you want a story of the wives, if you, I don't know what you're going to do. One time when Prophet Sallallahu he invite someone, some uh, sahaba to go to eat in his house. So he went and the brother, they wait in there. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he went and get the food out and they start eating. They say, Ya Rasulullah, it's very tasty. MashaAllah, he say, this is the cook, the one who cook it, Ummukum Hafsa. The one who cook this food, your mother Hafsa. Aisha, she hear, she get jealous. She get out to there, to the living room and took the food and throw it to the floor. If one of us see his wife <coughs> throw the food from a front of the guest to the floor, what is he going to do? Wow. But Rasulullah show us the best example what he did. He smiled and he get the plate and start collecting the food back to the plate. And he said to the Sahaba, eat, eat. It's just your mother, Aisha, she's jealous. Eat. <laughs> That's it. Second example, the Prophet Sallallahu he have he have a, a, a lady in his house, Halbin, so he marry her, it's like a wife, because the one is Halbin, servant in your house, before Rasul Sallallahu he have it, so he marry her, make her equal like his wife, and sometimes he go with her. Aisha and Hafsa come to him and say, Ya Rasul Allah. You have to make this lady haram for you or other way divorce us. You know, when I, when I see that surah talking about him, I say, how dare they talk to Rasulullah like that? But he take it, he said, he's, what did he answer? He said, he didn't say go back to your home if you don't like it. He said, okay, okay, I promise. Okay, no problem. He was a peaceful man for anything he meets. Who get angry? Omar, the father of Hafs. He came. Hafs, she said, yes, daddy. Where is Aisha? She says, yeah, behind her. Call her. And the wife of the Rasul, they was uh, afraid from Omar more than Rasulullah. 
Then he said, I hear of you saying such and such and such to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi They said, yes. He said, Asa Rabbuhu in talaqa kunna an yubdiluhu bi khayrin min kunna muslimatin mu'minatin qanitatin ta'ibatin abidatin sa'ihatin thayyibatin wa abkara. Like, sir, who you think you are? Allah will replace you with better Muslims and mu'min better than you. He stole his daughter and Aisha. Then Allah sent Jibreel to make the word of Umar, Quran, till the day of the judgment day. And Allah sent Jibreel to tell Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya ayyuhan ma ahalla Allahu lak, tabtaghi marzat azwajak. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Rahim. If can, if Allah make it halal for you, why you have to worry about the wife? You want them to please them and not to please Allah? Al-Infaq. The charity, the given, when you give sadaqah, charity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of people, they thinking, if I take from my bucket, it's going to miss sin. No, wallahi, it will be increased. I swear to God. Look at Uthman. He's all the way the bank of Rasulullah. When a Prophet ﷺ needs something, he said, who gave it? Uthman, he get up and give. And look what a story of one man, he's an orphan in Medina. He have a small garden and uh, next to other guy. And he went to make a fence. He went to make a fence. When he make a fence around, he meet a tree, day tree, in front of his fence. So he said to him, can you give it to me? He said, no. Can I buy it from you? He said, no. So the boy went to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, can you talk to this brother? I, want, I ask him, he can give it to me, that tree. And he refused. Can I buy it? He refused. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called him, he came. Can you give the boy this tree? And I promise you a branch in Jannah. Now we're not talking about the branch in Jannah. We're talking he's going to go to Jannah. You know, he didn't understand it that way. I wanna, he said, no, Ya Rasulullah. Can you sell it to him? And I still promise you a branch in Jannah. A branch of the tree. He said, no, Ya Rasulullah. Wow. One sahabi... His name, Abad Dahdah. He hear about it. He's looking for Jannah. And we are looking for Jannah. One Sahabi, he have the best garden in Medina. Hander tree of the day tree. And he have a palace inside. And he have a well. The water running the whole day. He go to Rasulullah. Yes, Rasulullah. If I buy that tree from that guy and give it to the orphan boy. Can I still get the branch in Jannah? Rasulullah he told him, yes. He went after the guy. Uh, brother, he said, yes. You know my garden. He said, who don't, have, who don't know your garden? The best garden in Medina is yours. Even Rasulullah he was making qailula there and drink water from there. He said, who know, who know, who know, who don't know you jarred the bad jarred in Marina? He said, I'm ready to give you all my hunter tree of garden, whatever the palace, whatever in it, just give me this tree. Just give me this. The guy was surprised. He said, are you serious? He said, believe me, I'm serious. I will give you all my garden, all my palace, what is in it, just give me this tree. He said, let's go, write the paper. He write it, and he give it to him. Then he took the paper for that tree and give it to the boy. Then he went to his wife, to the garden. He said, ya umma dahdah. She said, yes. He said, come out of the house and bring your children with you. Why? He said, I already sell the whole garden, what is in it, with all the tree." For Allah and his prophet. If his lady from today, she'll say, are you crazy or something? 
We need to take you to the psychiatrist. What she said? Rabiha al bay'ah abad dahdah. Rabiha al bay'ah abad dahdah. Abad dahdah is success for the trading. What he made. You know? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the, the uh, calling for jihad. Abad dahdah, he said, I don't want to lose the jihad. Okay, children there in the masjid and he went to jihad. He died. He got killed. Abad Dahdah, he got killed. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went with the Sahaba and they take him and they bury him. You know what Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said? He sat down and looked at him. He <laughs> said, La ilaha illallah. لا إله إلا الله كم من عذق الآن مدلل لأب الدحداح في الجنة. How many branch now is laying down to Abu Dhahdah in Jannah? We looking for this dunya, dunya. If we don't use what we have to please Allah with it, nobody can do it for you, unless you do it. Wallahi, brother. And the best thing, trade, trade with Allah. Try. Uthman, he was always there. He given, 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 till when a Prophet وسلم, he say, Ma dharra Uthman, ma fa'ala ba'd al yawm, al jannah lahu. No matter what Uthman doing after today, he, he have jannah guarantee. And Ibrahim, Abuna Ibrahim. Yes, he is the best, he is the father for all the prophets. But Rasulullah Sallallahu he still has a high position because even Ibrahim, his message was temporary, his miracle was temporary, but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his miracle and his book will stay till the judgment day, to the end of the life, Still on, no one can change it, never vanish. His miracle will be new every day. One of the miracles what we see today, Prophet Sallallahu said, Al-Haraj, Al-Haraj. Yakthur Al-Haraj, Al-Haraj. Qalu wa Al-Haraj, Qal Al-Qatl, Al-Qatl. Prophet Sallallahu is saying, one size of the judgment day will be so much killing. From the judgment day, from the sign of the judgment day, you will see a man look like a woman and a woman look like a man. We see it. A metal will talk. Something far, he get it fast. This is a warning. The Qiyamah is very close. The judgment day is very close. Um, um, when a Prophet Wasallam free all those when the Prophet Sallallahu free, the first milk from a breastfeed went to the body of Rasul Sallallahu was from the slave lady. And that one, Allah free her. She go talk to his uncle. She said, your brother Abdullah has a baby, boy. He said, for that good news, you are free. So from that time, a Prophet Sallallahu get on from his mother warm to the floor, to the ground, he free slave already. Bilal, Rasul Sallallahu tell him, in Laylat al-Mi'raj, what are you doing, ya Bilal? When he come back from Mi'raj, he say, why ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi He say, I heard you foot stop in Jannah. What are you doing, ya Bilal? He said, I didn't do much, Ya Rasulullah. I guess every time I, my wudu break, I go make new wudu and make two rak'ah. It's a long story, but we get it in, in uh, that uh, infaq and charity. There's a lot of good story about it. What's for Rasulullah No matter what you... Talking when I, when I saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
in one day in my dream, nobody can tell you I saw his face look like that because his light coming from his face is like this. Yeah, more than this, but it gets like you cannot, you cannot see the shape of the eyes, of the nose, of that, because a person who can make detail, he cannot make it exactly, so Allah make it higher. But, alhamdulillah, we hug each other. Not shaken, he put his hand in my back and he said, ما زالت طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق حتى تقوم الساعة العبادة brothers and sisters no matter how you, your kids get lazy in fajr time fajr time or oh, some lot of brothers now they stay up with the TV with the internet with that they tell the, before fajr shaitan told him go ahead sleep Allah knows you are tired you're going to get up when he want to get up he said no 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 you stay tired where are you going so when you lose the fajr you lose the barakah for the whole day so no matter what your son told you or your daughter is enough when Rasulullah said if the man wake up his wife for salat fajr and she didn't wake up throw water on her face before Allah will throw her face to the to the hellfire and the wife do the husband the same. And enough for us, the Prophet Sallallahu he is the Imam of uh, Allah Subhanahu of uh, all the Prophets of Allah and the Messenger. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, make us this night and make this masjid and make you who, oh, all of you who support the masjid who support the children to learn how to worship Allah. Wallahi, brothers and sisters, Wallahi, what you see in different country being slowed in each other is because they're ignorant of Quran and Sunnah. Wallahi. If they have Quran and Sunnah in their life, they will not get to that level. If there is no liquor in their country, I'm from Yemen, but Every city has liquor. Every city has interest. It's enough. If we do all the things, it's good. But we deal interest, that's enough for Allah to destroy us. Because you say, harbun min Allah wa So we have to get, we like to have peace in this life. Peace in the grave and peace in akhirah. Wallahi, no success, no protection till when we go back to the Quran and Sunnah and practice it and support our children to learn it. While other way, Wallahi, they will drag them in the floor. They already drag them like a dog in different country, and you know that. They destroy whoever they want to destroy. The, the Muslim killing each other, they don't care. As a lot of ayah about, a lot of hadith said, Prophet Sallallahu one hadith he said, if the Muslim meet with each other with the sword, both of them is kafir. Both of them is going to Jahannam, to the hellfire. The, the Sahaba said, we know the one who killed, he deserved to go to hellfire, but the one who get killed, he said he was have intention to kill his brother, but he didn't have a chance. So brother, may Allah bless you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wan Najami the Hawa. Madwalla Sahibukum Wama Gawa. وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالعفك الأعلى ثم دنا فتدى